What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today we're doing a full set review of Skystream and Towering Perfection, the next Pokemon TCG sets coming out in Japan. And this will be more of a brief review. Of course, I do my top 10 cards and more in-depth reviews as sets get closer to coming out here in North America. And I've also already looked at some of the cards that were revealed previously from these sets, but they are now fully revealed. So are, there are some cards that we've never seen before uh, that we'll be looking at today here on PokeBeach.com. And most of these cards will be in the Evolving Skies set coming out uh, August, coming out in August so soon already uh, overseas. So yeah, we'll be looking at these on Polka Beach. Uh, Polka Beach was recently hacked and they do have this information up. It's going to look a little different than normal, uh, but I hope Polka Beach is able to get everything together. It really sucks that somebody hacked into their site and like took everything down. That was that's pretty bad to hear. Uh, but yeah, so we're looking at Skystream Tower and Perfection cards today. Some new cards revealed that we have not seen before. Before we hop into it, though, shout out to my sponsors, PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes, and be sure to use code CELIO for 5% off. And also PokemonCard.io, you can use the link in the description down below to view all of my standard format deck lists and export them directly to PTCGO from there. So let's look at... Skystream and Towering Perfection, which will mostly make up Evolving Skies. Uh, so we'll scroll through here. These are all just pictures and there's the translations below. And uh, you'll notice some of the new cards that we have not already seen, like the Trevenant V and V Max. Um, there is also the Toxtricity's new, the Mine and Implusal are new, Salamence. Uh, Reggie Lecky and Reggie Drago, a couple trainers, uh, the Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos non-V forms, Garbodor V and Garbodor and Garbodor V Max. So we'll be looking at all of these. So we've got Rapid Strike, Hopip, Skip Bloom, and Jump Pluff to start things off. Uh, I believe we already have looked at these before on the channel. Uh, but I will just briefly go over most of the cards that don't appear as absolute, like, straight-up bulk. Uh, so this has the ability, when you attach an energy from hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from it and put it onto it. So you can evolve right into Jump Pluff, and it can attack twice a turn. If the first attack knocks out your opponent's active Pokemon, you may attack again. And its attack does 60 damage, but it's a Rapid Strike Pokemon, uh, so you could you could possibly pair this with other things like the Metacham V that's in this set as well. Uh, Tropius rally back thirty plus ninety, pretty weak rally back. I feel like these need to these need to have been buffed by now. Uh, Pan Sage and Simi Sage. Now we've got Trevenant V and Trevenant V Max. So Trevenant V has a thirty and heal thirty attack, and then. Uh, 120 for three, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Trevenant V Max is quite interesting, actually. Uh, so the first attack for Grass Colorless does 40 times the amount of supporter cards that are in your opponent's discard pile. So as the game goes on and your opponent plays more supporters or you discard more supporters from their hand, Farsong will do more damage. So let's theorize how much this could actually do, maybe mid to late game. So like maybe turn four of the game, turn five of the game. Uh, if decks are playing, let's say four research, four Marnie, three bosses orders. I think that's like the right down the middle typical supporter line. Uh, let's say they play a supporter each turn. So that's four supporters right there. And then let's say they discarded two others uh, among those turns by either the Den AGX or Quick Ball or Research or something like that. Uh, so that would be six supporters on average, maybe by turn four or five. Um, if your opponent, of course, is not playing around Far Song and just like not playing supporters down. So Far Song in that case would do 240 for two energy, which is not very good. Uh, maybe if it was 40 plus 40, but it's 40 times 40. So I don't think that's very good. It is interesting, however, but I don't think it's very good if we're using 
those theoretical numbers that I just pulled out of thin air. But let me, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm completely wrong about Trevin at VMAX. Um, I don't think it's better than Leafy on VMAX. I think Leafy on VMAX, which should be in our Evolving Sky set because it's an Eevee Heroes, uh, that should just be better. Uh, we've got an Apple in because that evolves into a dragon type. So it's just a lone little Apple in here. Full picks and nine tails. As long as this Pokemon is in play, the retreat cost of each of your Pokemon that has any fire energy attached to it is colorless, colorless, less. It's all right. If we have another usable nine tails in the format, then it gets better. Of course, the team up one will rotate a few weeks after this comes out, at least in North America. So, uh, but if we had another nine tails, maybe it could be useful. Uh, Victini victory dive 30, and you can search your deck up for up to two cards and put them into your hand. So this is not too bad because it's on a single prize Pokemon. So even if like, let's say you get Marnied out of those cards and then Victini gets knocked out. You, you probably don't mind too much because it's a single prize Pokemon. You're just allocating two energy to it. Maybe if it was like one energy to do like 10 or 20 damage, that would actually be, maybe that would be too good. But for two energy, I don't think it's like the absolute worst thing in the world. But uh, a lot of times you won't be keeping those two cards. Uh, it also matters, is, is 30 damage relevant in your matchup or with your deck's math? So it could be. Uh, Pan Seer and Simi Seer for a fire energy 60 times the amount of basic energy you discard from your hand up to two. So that's bad. Uh, Volcarona, this uh, first attack is kind of like Victini Prism. For fire energy, it does 20 damage plus 20 more for each basic energy in your discard, and then you shuffle them all into your deck. So if you have 10 fire energies in your discard pile, you do 220 for one energy and then shuffle them all back into your deck. So this is kind of interesting with Flareon VMAX, but I think Flareon VMAX is just a meme deck, but I do think it's worth noting that this would be interesting with Flareon VMAX since Flareon VMAX discards uh, the top five or six cards of your deck and then does damage multiplied by the amount of energy you discarded. And then this could just get those energy back into the deck and then so, but I don't think that's any more than just a fun deck, but Volcarona V should be able to fit in nicely with Flare on VMAX. Um, okay, a bad Scorch, Cloyster Rapid Strike. Um, probably not good, but I think it's cool. I think Cloyster is like a really underappreciated old Pokemon. I think he looks absolutely amazing in this art as well. Um, I think most Rapid Strike and Single Strike Pokemon really pop in their art. Uh, but it is Rapid Strike. It has the ability that it takes 30 less damage from attacks, which at 130 damage is probably not going to matter. And for Water Colorless or a Rapid Strike Energy, uh, it does 60 and then 30 to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So with a Passimian on your bench, that would be 60 and then 60-60 to VNGX. With a Telescopic Sight, that would be 60 and then 90-90 to VNGX. Uh, so... Could be an okay single prize damage spreader, honestly. One one line, toss it in there. Uh, probably not just because of how fast games go and you want to be attaching to things that are going to survive, but I think it's uh pretty cool that you can really rack up that spread damage thanks to Telescopic Sight and Passimian and do this for just a single energy. Uh, Gyarados V has a uh, temper tantrum it does 20 times the amount of damage on this pokemon and then gyarados v max has very vanilla attacks uh, but you could always use memory capsule attached to gyarados v max to copy temper tantrum so like if this gets hit for 200 by a v max then you just hit the v max back for 400 always get the knockout there uh, Galarian Darman Amamitan, if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this attack can be used for just a water energy. If Rainbow Energy gets reprinted, that can be an interesting tech to hit for water weakness, but you're not even knocking out VMAXs, so like, yeah. Uh, Cryogonal, look at the top six cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Very interesting attack. I don't think it's uh, anything spectacular off the bat, but an interesting attack nonetheless. 
uh, a 30 HP wishy washy that is rapid strike. And if it has at least three water energy attached, it's 180 HP instead of 30. Wow, that's a lot. That's a big that's a big jump. And then it does 30 more damage for each basic energy attached to this Pokemon. Ah, why basic energy when it's rapid strike? No, boo. Why basic? <laughs> All right. Um, we got Mareep Flaffy. And now, of course, Flaffy has the Dynamotor, uh, which is kind of revitalizing Ray Eels because Rayquaza VMAX is also in this set. And this has the exact ability that Electric had back in the day. Once during your turn, you may attach a lightning energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Uh, so basically like a Malamar type effect for those of you who remember Malamar from a couple years ago and were around for that. Basically stage one accelerating a basic energy from discard to a benched Pokemon once a turn. If you set up multiple of them, you can do it multiple a turn. Then Ampharos can do uh, uh, 220 damage for four energy which could be an okay attacker to include in decks that are already playing like a 4-4 line of Flaffy as their energy acceleration. You could just toss in an Ampharos because it can do a whole bunch of damage and it's a single price Pokemon. Uh, the Plusle Minin uh, combination is kind of cute. Minin has Call for Family, search your deck for two basics and bench them. And then Plusle does 120 for a colorless if... Uh, mine and used an attack last turn. I do think it's maybe it's interesting that they're both rapid strike. It would have been cool to maybe see them one be single, one be rapid. They are, yeah, they are both rapid. Okay. Uh, Toxtricity does Venoshock 70. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 70 more damage. I think I saw a different translation for that. Wait, no, this is not. I don't think this is the correct translation because it doesn't have a plus. So let me. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that would have a plus if that was the correct translation. So we're going to go on over to. Juan Lay's. Twitter, which is sometimes where I look at the translations in these videos because I do think they have a more accurate translation. Hey, or maybe not because I don't even see the card. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so they have translated it as uh, Punk Shot. Punk Shock. The 70 and you may leave your opponents active paralyzed and do 70 damage to yourself looking at the text of course i don't read japanese but looking at the text where the 70 is placed and the fact that there's no plus here i do think that uh that translation is correct and not this one uh but moving on reggie lecky i'm excited to see uh, Reggie Lecky. I really, really am. I've been wanting to see Reggie Drago and Reggie Lecky. Hopefully they can get cool V Pokemon cards as well, because I think they're I think they're Pokemon with like pretty interesting flavor, uh, especially especially Reggie Lecky in the video game. Um, so it has Terravolt for Lightning Lightning Colorless. It does 120 and then discard lightning, discard all lightning energy, do 40 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So uh, you could toss this in any deck playing Flaffy, and then you can just power up in one turn, do 120, 40, 40, with Telescopic Sight, that of course can be 70, 70, and you could just make a spread deck and try to do this every single turn with the help of the Flaffy, so that's pretty cool. I definitely uh, imagined Reggie Lucky doing spread damage, so I'm super happy to see that. Uh, we got Sand Shrew with the everybody rollout attack. There's, it's kind of like a, not really like a Night March mechanic, but it's for everybody, every Pokemon with everybody rollout on your bench. It does more damage, kind of just a gimmick. I doubt that it could be anything good. Um, and then a Sand Slash, it doesn't matter. Metacham V Rapid Strike has uh, 210 HP, Fighting type, weak to Psychic. And it has a very vanilla attack here with Smash Uppercut and a 
a very ambitious attack with the Yoga Loop. Uh, Yoga Loop does puts two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by this attack, at the end of your turn, you can take another turn. This attack can't be used if any of your Pokemon used Yoga Loop last turn. So, like I mentioned earlier with the Jump Pluff, you could use Yoga Loop to put two damage counters on something. And then, uh, let's see, and then use Jump Pluff to then attack twice with Revolving Attack. Now, um, I'm, it doesn't, it sounds more cool than it does impressive or even good if you pull it off, but in the future, if there's like end of turn effects that would trigger with your turn ending and then restarting, then that could potentially be a reason to do that. Like something like a Shrine of Punishment that would be triggered by that, but I'm not even sure if it would, because I don't know if you'd go into Pokemon checkup or between turns or whatever it would be. Um, but if there's anything that would happen because you're using multiple attacks or multiple turns or anything like that, uh, that could be cool. We've got Bolt Toy and Claydol. Claydol, uh, put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 60. So much more restrictive than Galarian Rapidash. It's on a stage one, it costs two fighting, and it has to be the active, but it takes it down to 60 HP. And then Rapid Spin 30, you switch with one of your benched and then your opponent switches with one of their benched. Probably never going to see play. Uh, Landorus, 20 switch. We got the Strafe. And then uh, Earthen Roar, Fighting Fighting Colorless to do 120 and move all energy from this Pokemon to your benched. Not very good. Uh, Dragonite V has a 50 and goes through effects, which is nice to have especially being on a colorless pokemon with a lot of hp and no weakness that's not bad at all and then dragon gale does 250 for water water lightning but it does 20 to all of your benched pokemon uh, so maybe it's okay because it has the shreddish slash attack that goes through effects uh, so this uh, salamence doesn't have the attack text here in the translation but it's 170 hp dragon pokemon uh the art is amazing and it has the ability that i don't remember so we're, <laughs> we're gonna, i'm gonna have to go find that i know the attack does 220 if it has damage on it so 220 for two energy is not bad at all but it is on a stage two and you have to get damage onto it um and it's not like a single strike or anything you could just attach with houndoom to get it so let's go find out what the ability does. You know, I thought I knew what the ability did going into this whole thing. And now we're in the video and I'm just like, huh, what's that ability do? I don't know. Gonna have to go look at Twitter. Uh, once during your turn, you may make your opponent switch their active with a bench, but they get to choose the bench. Okay, so an okay ability and a pretty good attack for fire water, but it's a stage two Pokemon. And it has to have damage on it to do uh, to do the 220 as well. You know, it's not like it's just hitting a vanilla 220. It also has a condition that it has to meet. Uh, so we've got Rayquaza V, Rayquaza V Max. We have already looked at these, but the Rayquaza V Max's ability is very good. Once during your turn, discard your hand to draw three cards, and you can do this for every Rayquaza you have out. And then G Max Burst does 20, and you can discard all of your basic fire or I'm sorry, any number of your basic fire or any number of your basic lightning to do 80 more damage for each energy discarded in this way. So uh, if you discard three fires, you'll do 260 after the base of 20 plus the 80 times three. If you discard four fire or lightning, you'll do 340, essentially knocking out anything that's in the active. Uh, so you have a great draw ability, you have a potentially very powerful attack. You'll notice it's the same template that they used for Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Drawing cards on a VMAX and a scalable attack that doesn't start out busted, but can get there as long as you can get enough energy onto the board. So very interesting. I think Rayquaza VMAX will be a good card, and it's Rapid Strike, so it gets some Rapid Strike support to go along with it. We've got Zygarde, which is a Rapid Strike basic Pokemon. 
uh, for Grass Fighting Colorless. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. This attack does 40 damage to that Pokemon for each card your uh, for each prize card your opponent has taken. Okay, so Grass Fighting Colorless, Rapid Strike Energy doesn't help with that. Uh, Spiral Energy does, but that's only one at a time. But it does 40 to something for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if they've taken four prizes, you can snipe something for 160 on the bench. For Grass Fighting Colorless, I think I'd rather have Cramorant doing that because it's for colorless energy. Um, but it is, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. And when I say interesting, I really don't mean it's garbage. Because if it was garbage, I would just be skipping it like I'm doing with all the garbage. <laughs> uh, it, it is actually interesting, but just not good enough. Uh, Turtonator, another dragon type. Really cool to see all these dragon types. Uh, it has Shell Trap for fighting fire, which still makes me think we're getting like a special dragon energy of some sort with these crazy like i mean dragons have always had weird energy combinations but they're really pushing it with like almost every single dragon um 30 damage and then if it gets hit next turn the opponent takes eight damage not good i believe the flapple and appletons are pretty decent uh flapple they both evolve from applin of course which is a grass pokemon and these are both dragon pokemon uh so acidic slime for a colorless does 50 uh, times the amount of Pokemon your opponent has in play with an ability. So that could be quite high, especially like I said, we have Shadow Rider and Rayquaza, uh, Eternatus, Zacian, a lot of important Pokemon have abilities on them and they're both the support and the attackers. So if the opponent has four ability Pokemon in play, you're two-shotting everything with if you have two of these set up. And then Acidic Slime, 70 on the Appleton, of course, uh, 70. And if it does 70 times the number of special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. So I'm less, uh, I'm less thrilled with this one since one of the best special energy in the game is Rapid Strike Energy. And a lot of times that gets discarded after your opponent uses Rapid Flow. But there are others. There's Aurora, there's Horror, there's Hiding Dark. Uh, there is... Uh, single strike energy, spiral energy, etc. And they both have gung ho tackle, which for grass fire does 80. And if the defending is a V, it does 160 instead. So uh, the first attacks are what we're really looking at here because they can be used for a colorless attack. So they can be, you know, the 1 1 or 2 2 or the 2 1 1 split can be a, theoretically tossed into anything. Um, and then this can do a pretty good amount of damage most of the time so i think flapple is better than appleton immediately on release but i don't think it could have hurt to give flapple a 70 times like this does have for special uh we've got reggie drago it does 240 with dragon energy uh but it is for a grass grass fire and does 20 less damage reach damage counter on this pokemon you're not really worried about having damage on the Pokemon since it is a, on 130 HP single price Pokemon. So having damage on it doesn't really matter. 240 for Grass Grass Fire. It can work with the Tapu, not Tapu Bulu, with Cherum. <laughs> it was theory to work with Tapu Bulu. The Cherum from Battle Styles, it accelerates grass energy. Uh, so 240 is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, Reggie Drago's putting out some serious firepower with that attack. Uh, Blissey, each of your Pokemon with an everybody roll out attack takes no damage from the attacks of your opponent's VMAXs, and then it does 20 for each of your bench Pokemon and has the everybody roll out attack. So this is just horrible because the every Pokemon with this attack can just get breathed on by a V Pokemon and it's knocked out, so it doesn't even matter that they can't evolve to VMAX. Um, Wild Dive, 30 for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Probably not good. Lucky Popsicle, heal 20 damage from your active and then flip a coin if heads return this card to your hand. Okay, so if you flip like three heads in a row, you get to heal 80 damage. And 80 damage still probably just doesn't matter currently. Uh, Toy Catcher, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with 50 HP or less with their active Pokemon. Uh, this is... Yeah, uh, mm, uh, I'm. I almost want to say I'll come back on that one. 
Like, why did we need this? Um. Yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm a fan of it. So what? You can bring up very weak Pokemon, or a damaged V Max, but like. It feels like a card that optimally you shouldn't include in your deck, but you will lose to suboptimal lists that have it in there, and it will be very frustrating. I guess we'll have to see. I'm. Will it be played at least casually, like on PTCGO? Yes, absolutely, it will be played. Will it be suggested for tournament level decks? Also, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i i don't have a i don't love this card at first glance we got some reprints uh rubber gloves it does the pokemon it's attached to does 30 more to active lightning pokemon and we've already seen this rapid strike scroll flying dragon scroll rapid strike tool the poke the rapid strike this is attached to can use this attack and for fire lightning you discard two energy and you do 90 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, so that's just perfect damage to knock out your opponent's Flaffy, like in a Rayquaza mirror or something like that. Underworld Mask. I did see this one already, and this one's pretty cool. Um, it's a Pokemon tool, and if the Pokemon this card is attached to is active and damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, your opponent has to discard a card from their hand. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Shauna reprint, shuffle draw five, schoolboy and schoolgirl. It's like schoolboy, draw two, and if your opponent has five, three, or one prizes remaining, draw two more. And then schoolgirl is if your opponent has six, four, or two prize cards remaining, draw four instead. Um, pretty bad cards. Zinnia's resolve we have already seen. You must discard two cards and then draw one card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. I think this is a neat card to have. I don't think it's absolutely busted or will be in every deck, but I think it's a nice draw supporter option to have around. A uh, stormy range allows you once a turn to search your deck for a basic lightning or dragon Pokemon and put it onto your bench. And we have an Aurora Energy reprint here at the end of the Sky Stream portion of things. And now on to the Towering Perfection half of everything. Since if you didn't know, basically in Japan, there's usually two half sets that complete the whole release. And uh, for some reason on Poke Beach, the Towering Perfection cards do not have pictures next to the translations, but all the pictures above towards the top of the page, uh, all the cards do have their pictures. So you can go see what the cards look like if you want to. Uh, so Suicune has 210 HP, Suicune V, Water type, weak to Lightning. Um, once during your turn, if it's active, you can draw a card. And then it has the attack Blizzard Rondo for Water Colorless. It does 20 plus 20 more for each benched Pokemon. So if you're in your, you and your opponent both have a full bench, that does 220 for just 2 energy. That's actually really decent. Um, on a V Pokemon that also allows you to draw a card once a turn if it's active. Uh, and versus Eternatus, that would do 280 if they have a full bench of 8. Uh, so that's actually really, really decent for Suicune V uh, to do 220 if both, Poke if both players have a full bench. That's pretty cool. We've got Lotad, Lombre, and Ludicolo. Uh, Ludicolo was already previously revealed. It's a stage two, and if you evolve it from hand, uh, you can use this ability. During this turn, the attacks of your basic Pokemon do 100 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Which, that is, uh, that's a huge damage buff, 100 damage that your basic Pokemon are doing. But it, it is only for basics, so that means your VMAX Pokemon are not going to get buffed from this. And also... It's a stage two Pokemon, so you're either using deck space up for the basic, the stage two and rare candy or the basic stage one and the stage two or some combination of it all. Probably about four to six cards for this small package. Uh, just to sometimes buff one turn's worth of damage by 100. So this card will probably not be competitively viable. 
Uh, we have Ice Q, block face for 70 during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. This might have been good, like, a year ago, but V Maxes are not basic Pokemon, and the most of the metagame is V Max Pokemon. By the time this come out, comes out, the entire metagame basically will be V Max Pokemon, so this is just really terrible. Uh, more everybody rollout Pokemon. Then we've got uh, Galarian Articuno. The Galarian birds all have non V forms in these sets. So Galarian Articuno, uh, when you play it down, you can attach two psychic energy cards from your hand to it, just like Darkrai Prism and Lunala Prism. And then the Psycho Laser for Psychic Colorless Colorless, discard all psychic energy from this Pokemon, and it does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so pretty decent attack, but also a very good energy acceleration that you can then energy switch or uh, just use this for extra damage with Alchemy V Max and Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Wobbuffet is a single strike Pokemon with 120 HP psychic type and has the mirror pain attack for colorless colorless. Choose one of your benched Pokemon and count the number of damage counters on that Pokemon then put the same number of damage on your opponent's active. So it's a very interesting attack Will it be competitively viable? I'd have to guess no right off the bat, but it is a very uh, interesting attack, uh, similar to the way that Medicham V is very cool as well and very interesting and intricate. Uh, so it's nice to see them taking chances with some more intricate things, but we just need to see those being put onto the strong cards <laughs> and not onto the cards that are like going to be so hard to get to work. Uh, Golurk V, single strike basic, uh, single strike V Pokemon with 220 HP, psychic type weak to dark, and it has two attacks. The first is vanilla 80 for three, and then uh, rewind beam is a bit interesting. For psychic, psychic, colorless, colorless, it does 180, and if your opponent's active is an evolved Pokemon, oh, excuse me, remove the highest stage evolution card to devolve it and return that card to your opponent's hand. So for four energy you can do 180 and then devolve that Pokemon. Now, if all of you're doing is 180, if you don't have extra energy on it and you devolve a VMAX, you're not even knocking out the VMAX, which is pretty bad. And it costs four energy and you're a V yourself. Weak to dark and there's going to be even more good dark Pokemon out by the time this card's out. So this is uh, likely not very good at all. Pumpkaboo has a really nice ability, Pumpkin Hole. When you play this Pokemon from hand to bench, you may use this ability. Discard a stadium in play. So this can discard Path to the Peak, notably. And it will be kind of like a Marshadow Reset Hole replacement post-rotation for Scoop Up Net decks, especially. Uh, Gergeist evolves from that, and it does Monster Parade. 60, reveal the top six cards of your deck. This does 60 more damage. For each Psychic Pokemon you find there, shuffle those Psychic Pokemon back into the deck and discard the other cards. So, not very good, but Pumpkaboo has a cool ability that will likely be used. Valerian, Zapdos, non-V, Fighting type, weak to Psychic, Retreat 2, which is weird because it looks like Roadrunner. Um, ability Charge, when you play this Pokemon from hand to bench, you may attach two Fighting Energy cards from your hand to it. And then Thunderous Kick, 70, you may discard all energy from this Pokemon. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So a pretty decent attack and also just accelerating energy. Uh, then you can energy switch it to where you need it. Hariyama, single strike stage one fighting type Pokemon with 140 HP. When this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack, flip a coin. If heads, this Pokemon is not knocked out and its HP becomes 10 instead. So a cool ability, this could probably be on like every stage one and every stage two <laughs> and uh, they still might not be good enough. Uh, but all it has for an attack is hammer in to do 100 damage. I guess you could use scroll of scorn to just swing for 130 plus single strike energies uh, if guts actually works, but just probably going to be a meme deck, something fun to try and make work. We've got Lycanroc V, Fighting Type, 200 HP. For 3 energy, it does 200, then can attack next turn, and it evolves into Lycanroc V Max. Uh, Lycanroc V Max is Fighting Type, has 320 HP, weak to grass. And uh, Hunting Claw, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon in play with 60 HP or less. That Pokemon is now knocked out, 
so that's really cool and then max edge does 190 and this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon i think this card's a decent but probably won't be a competitive card maybe like uh, the kind of card that you can make work if you really try but it's not going to be one of those naturally strong cards in my opinion and then galarian moltres rounding out the three birds that we're getting you can attach two darkness energy from your hand when you play this pokemon from hand to bench and then fiery wrath does 20 plus 50 more for each prize card your opponent's already taken this might be the best out of all of the birds uh that we're seeing here today's attacks so if your opponent's already taken five prizes and you drop this thing and swing with it you're doing 270 damage from a single prize pokemon that you just powered up all in one turn which is really really powerful uh absol has drag off bring up a pokemon do 30 to it meh uh thievel when you evolve it so it's a stage one that you have to play down each player shuffles their hand and draws four cards. It's a dark Pokemon, so it could be seen in Eternatus decks. It's basically just a let loose, but on stage one. Galarian Preserker, stage one. Search your deck for two basic energy and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. Not good, because it's a, it's a stage one. Uh, Papa Raja, not good. Altaria, once a turn, you can search your deck for a supporter and put it on top of your deck um i mean there's a lot of things that can just draw you into the supporter card but i don't know that you'd play altari uh the new suicune v actually if it's in the active you just draw a card or cricketoon can draw you up to three or up to four but is it worth playing a stage one line to get a supporter to the top of your deck when you could just play like more supporters or the Denes, Crobats, things to just draw you more cards. I'm not sure. Poke Gears even. Yeah, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if this is played outside of control decks. In a control deck, it makes sense, but we'll have to see if it's played outside of that. Uh, Dialga Single Strike, Chrono Wind for three colorless, 80. And if the defending Pokemon is a Pokemon V, it can't attack next turn, so they'll just switch and everything's hunky-dory. Um, and it is a dragon type Dialga, not a steel type Dialga. Uh, Hydreigon, stage 2 dragon type, 170 HP. For Psychic and Dark, it does 20 plus 100 more for each prize card your opponent took last turn. Uh, not good. It's too situational. It's on a stage 2. Sometimes you're only doing 20 damage. Very, very bad. Um, QRM Dragon type, it does 60 times. Discard any amount of water energy from your Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage for each card you discard in this way. That could be good because um, you can Frost Moth a ton of energy to your benched Pokemon and then cure them it all off. So that seems pretty decent, actually. It does have a metal type cost, which is a little awkward, but you can just play Auroras or um, a couple like three metal energies or something. I don't know. Like I said, I think we'll get a dragon type energy eventually in standard, maybe next set. Um, I, I think that we're going to get some sort of dragon type support, whether it's something that changes the type of the energy attached to your dragons or if it's a special energy itself. I do think we'll get something. Noivern V does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon or to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Should also say it's a dragon type of 200 HP. And Synchro Loud does 180 for two if you and the opponent have the same number of cards in your hand. So that's just not good enough, unfortunately. Uh, 180 for two on a basic Pokemon, I just said is not good enough. That is unfortunate. Uh, Drampa is a basic non-V dragon, 120 HP. It has Berserk. Uh, it can do a max of 160 for water fighting um could be okay in a cure him frost moth deck wait this no it can't frost moth only attaches to oh oh guys cure him is a dragon type oh no i was see the picture of cure him being here would have really helped me right there because i was definitely envisioning cure him 
as being a water type Pokemon that can just function really well with Frostmoth, but it is it is a dragon type Pokemon. Okay. Fro uh cure him not not good anymore. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I have to scroll all the way back down. Let's see where we are. Okay, Drampa probably not good either. Duralude in V. Duraludon V. Dragon type, 220 HP. Basic Pokemon, Rapid Strike. Wait, no, it's a single strike. Poga Beach. I know you got hacked, but, uh, so I'll let you off the hook this time. Duraludon V and V Max are single strike Pokemon. Uh, the first attack, or... The V's second attack, the V's notable attack, it does 140 and then takes 30 less damage next turn for fighting metal metal. And then Duraludon V Max, single strike 330 HP. Note that the dragons have no weakness, so 330 HP actually is 330 HP in this case. Um, the ability prevent all damage done to it by Pokemon that have special energy attached to them. And the attack for fighting metal metal does 220 and this attack's damage is not affected by effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. I do think Duraludon VMAX is pretty good because your opponent can't hit with special energy. They can't one shot it due to weakness and the attack doesn't have the worst energy cost ever and it does 220 goes through all things plus you have some support with single strike so i do think this is a decent card at the very least um slay king if there's a stadium card in play it can attack oh boy and then it does 120 plus 30 for each plus 30 more for each of your opponent's bench pokemon so if your opponent's not playing a turn and they have a full bench that does 270 for a twin energy plus another energy because triple energy rotates weeks after the set comes out and there can't be a stadium in play and it's a stage two it is a single strike it is a single strike but you're never fitting in just like random pump kaboos and i guess flannery to discard a stadium your opponent puts into play but you also Part of Single Strike's engine is having the Single Strike Stadium in play to draw cards, so this just looks awful. Wooloo, how do you do? 10 damage, discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That could actually like not be the worst thing ever. And everybody roll out. And we got some trainers. We got Swap Cup, switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. Not good. We have Single Strike Squirrel, Dragon's Fang Squirrel. Uh, for fighting metal metal colorless colorless it does 300 damage and discard all energy from this pokemon so <sighs> it does more damage because of single strike energy but you need two metals attached so i'm torn on this one it could be good if uh duraludon v max is good also, I think we're missing some cards. It'll refresh the site and then go over to Twitter to see if if, if Poke Beach doesn't have it. We'll go over to Twitter. Uh, we have Raihan, which is a supporter we've already seen that I think is very good. I was pretty hype about it, but I actually might have underrated it when we first looked at it. Um, you can only play it if a Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. If one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm starting to talk fast because we've been doing this for a while, and I didn't want the video to drag on too much. So yeah, if one of your opponent if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, choose a basic energy from your discard to attach it to one of your Pokemon and then search your deck for any card. So pretty pretty strong supporter card. Especially especially for uh non rule box Pokemon. Because if a VMAX gets knocked out, one more VMAX gets knocked out and the game's over. But if a single prize Pokemon gets knocked out, your opponent could do that four more times and you have Four more opportunities to play more Raihan, so they're worth the space in your deck. Uh, then Crystal Cave, once a turn, that player can heal 30 from each of their Metal and Dragon Pokemon. Now, let's uh, refresh the page and see if the rest of the translations there at the bottom were updated. Okay, it looks like pictures were updated, so maybe more... Tra yes, okay. Let me make sure I didn't miss any in... The sky stream. We'll just do a quick glance over here. Make sure all the Pokemon were there the first time through. 
We got our Flaffy, the new Toxtricity. Uh, the Toxtricity's attack hasn't been fixed, but that's okay. Dragonite, Rayquaza. Okay, the new trainers were already there for this. And then let's scroll down. Oh, Garbodor. Okay, great. Yeah, Garbodor and Trevenant were not here. Okay, so Garbodor V uh, does 40 for dark colorless, and your opponent's active, it's confused, and can't retreat, and the other does 130. And then Garbodor V Max has an interesting ability. It can have two tools attached to it, and the attack for dark colorless does 120, and the opponent's active is poisoned and can't retreat next turn. So having two Pokemon cards attached to it, that means you could have two of the new tool that makes your opponent discard a card when they attack you. It means you can have two rugged helmets that makes them return two energy to their hand. Um, you could have two big charms to give it 60 extra health and like try to tank with this thing. And I'm sure there's other tools that will come out eventually that you could think about using with this. Um, it's not great. It looks at the very least it can be fun and i do like that there's a lot more cards that i'm saying that about like uh we're getting a lot less like just straight up bulk cards and cards that at the very least can be a fun rogue deck like to mess around with on ptcgo or try to make something happen with um and then let's see do we miss things here i don't remember seeing skarmory but it doesn't do anything good so it's okay that we missed it I didn't realize that Copper Raja was a single strike on the first uh, run over these, but also doesn't matter because it's bad. There's the Slay King that can't attack. And now we have a uh, Rescue Trolley. So choose up to two Pokemon with 90 HP or less from your discard and put them into your hand. So this is absolutely stellar for non rule box decks. This gets you back a Sobble and a Drizzle. It gets you back a Mancino, a Chinchino. Um, it gets you back any other evolution cards that creatures might want to print at some point that will play But those <laughs> those are the ones getting played right now uh, Digging gloves it uh, it makes your Pokemon do 30 more damage to fighting type of Pokemon We just looked at this card uh, We've got a little scuba diver helmet This Pokemon the Pokemon this card is attached to except Pokemon with abilities Take 20 less damage from your opponent's Pokemon's attacks. So, yeah, I don't get this card. Like, this card is not so powerful that you have to keep it away from Pokemon with abilities. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Well, I would have liked to see, um, like, this Pokemon can't be attacked by Pokemon with abilities or can't be damaged by Pokemon with abilities. But, yeah, this just seems super bad. Uh, there's the Raihan card, there's Schoolgirl, just the opposite of School Boy. Copycat reprint uh, with some pretty cool art. Uh, Copycat's back here role-playing Leon, Rose, and Marnie with a Dusk Ball. That's very cool. And uh, it looks like a Twin Energy reprint. So that is everything. Uh, the set does not look like... Okay, well, actually, I should say this. The cards from Skystream and Towering Perfection do not look like they're going to be as good as Chilling Rain. But remember, we're also getting the EV Heroes cards, okay? And probably the high-class deck cards, like the new Inteleon VMAX and the new Gengar Single Strike VMAX. So those cards, and then the EV Heroes, like Umbreon GX and Leafeon... Umbreon GX? Oh, God, I need to go to sleep. Umbreon VMAX... <laughs> and leafy on v max and um vaporeon v max hopefully the basculin from the high class decks there's a lot of good cards from outside of what we looked at here today uh likely coming in evolving skies plus the new non v birds that are good um did we skip trevenant we did skip no wait no we didn't skip trevenant we did the math on trevenant supporters like i said guys i'm tired and I've almost called everybody watching this video chat like a million times when I'm not live streaming right now. Um, and I've tried to hold myself back from referring to you as chat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to ramble a lot more. So how about I just end the video here and let me know what you think about this and Evolving Skies and 
anything you want to add into the comments down below i do appreciate reading the comments and seeing all you guys comment um, i'm almost done with my internship hours i've been there every day this week and i'm done in just a couple weeks and i'll be i'll have all the time in the world to devote to pokemon so i haven't been uh, as consistent with replying to comments and stuff, but I am reading them all and I appreciate it all and I appreciate all the likes and new subscribers and people spreading around the channel and everything. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.